battle has ended. A place of cultural diversity and multilingual people, Ghana was the first African country to gain independence on this day 62 years ago. Ghana, your beloved country, is free forever. The British colony of the Gold Coast and the Togoland Trust Territory led to the formation of the nation, Ghana, in the year 1957. With more than 250 languages, Ghana's official language is English, which dominates business and government affairs. Nine of the country's local languages are government approved. Hausa is also widely used by Muslims in Ghana. There are over 100 ethnic groups living in the country. The largest are Akan, Mushitakmani, Ewe and Ga. When shaking hands between themselves, Ghanaians will hold the right hand in a normal manner but will then twist and click each other's middle finger. As a sign of respect, males over the age of 30 are addressed as Papa, while women of the same age are called Mame. People over the age of 50 are generally referred to as Nana. The traditional garments of Ghana are the kente cloth from southern Ghana and the Ghanaian plate shirt made from the fabric called gonja cloth from northern Ghana. Gonja cloth is a thick striped cotton fabric picked, dyed and woven by hand. Abedi Pele, Michael Essien and Asamoa Jian are some of the best football stars Ghana has gifted the world. Ghana, previously called the Gold Coast, is historically famous for its gold and is the world's second largest producer of cacao. Ghana is also home to Lake Volta, the largest artificial lake in the world. It spans over 320 miles and can even be seen from space. Ghana's traditional cuisine is one of the most diverse and has evolved into some of Africa's delicacies. Happy Independence Day, Ghana!